Hello everybody and welcome to this trip report. Uh, I'm flying from Newport News, Virginia to Dayton, Ohio with a connection through Charlotte on American Airlines uh, PSA operated CRJ flights in the 200 and the 900. I'm walking into the Newport News right now. I just got the text message up from my app that both my flights are going to be delayed due to weather. Um, also, I purchased a $50 upgrade on my Charlotte to Dayton flight. Um, the flight's only about an hour, so for $50, that's pretty good value. Um, walking into the airport here, you're going to easily see the American Airlines kiosk. Just come in, take a right, and you're going to see your check-in station for the flight. Overall, um, Newport News is a pretty small airport. They handle mostly CRJ and prop flights, so pretty sparse concourse of the bar in the center, but it adequately handles the uh, level of traffic. Um, since both my flights are CRJ flights, uh, kind of a little bit of lower expectations set in. CRJ flights are more operated by regional carriers, so standards are a little bit lower, and I think the service overall in CRJs is, uh, for American United, just pretty much a step below domestically from uh, Delta flights overall. Here I am at my seat. The uh, window is a little awkward to look out. I kind of punch forward. Uh, looking through the seat back, um, you got your propaganda, your in-flight magazine. You see your tray table, which on a CRJ flight, I'm going to bet you're probably not going to use that. So that means it's probably pretty much an older seat. Um, put room, I haven't settled them completely. It looks uh, pretty much expected, though. Things are really, really tight with the CRJ flight. So, um, also, typical air and lights above. As we sit here, I'm gradually liking these seats even less. The uh, headrest is now on my upper back, and for reference, I'm about 5'9". Um, there's not any space. Even sitting normally, my knees are now up against the front of this, and this is a, obviously a very awkward seat to sit in. Looking at the uh, Charlotte Airport map, you can see the layout. It's pretty neat, actually, for a layout. Uh, not very complicated. We're going to go into the E course, uh, coming in at E1. I'm going to be taking the right there and heading down to uh, E7, A, and B, which is in the corner there.
Now pulling in, now getting out and going to uh, Charlotte Airport, my favorite kind of uh, hub uh, airport here in America because of the ease of the layout. It's really easy to find your way around. You can make really quick connections. And also because um, it's got some great Carolina barbecue in here as well, which I happen to enjoy. Um, anytime you have barbecue, I'm pretty much down for it. Um, I also like kind of how laid back it feels. Under the trees over there, your left is um, some rocking chairs and they're placed throughout the airport. They also have like piano players live playing kind of echoes throughout the area. It's just even though with the amount of traffic, you get kind of a laid back feel here. Just walking out to the airport here, I purchased the $50 upgrade um, for this flight, so I'll be sitting in first class. I'm just kind of inter just interested to see on a CRJ what that product's going to be like. Like I just um, last week got off uh, first class domestic plan Delta on a 757, so it'll be kind of interesting to see how the two services are different. Um, I've flown American and first class a couple of times on upgrades, um, and lately it's been kind of lacking, so we'll see how it goes here. Um, getting onto the plane here, you can see I can see immediately it's the same type of CRJ seats as the previous flight. First class, uh, seats kind of beat up and looking really old, like they've kind of never been replaced since the plane has been uh, functioning here. I'm um, looking out over the entire seat, you'll see the window there, and no window right beside you, which is kind of a little bit annoying. So you kind of have to lean forward to look at it. Looking at the seat, it's a very old um, 90s style seat. You've got your propaganda hatch there with your magazines and whatnot. Um, like your premium magazine, I didn't really flip through it. And your tray table here in a side pocket, which on CRJ you're probably not going to use. Um, just kind of looking through here, once again, you kind of see the wide thing just to illustrate. I'm looking at nothing right now. If you look out that window in front of me, I kind of lean forward and hunch over like I did on the other side. have any questions or things I can move on just leave in the comments. Overall a little underwhelming. I mean granted I got it at CRJ it's a regional airline so you kind of have to manage expectations. Um, but this kind of fell below the already low bar that I kind of set it. The planes were old, dingy. Um, there wasn't any drink service in the first flight despite there being no turbulence or any announcements at all. As far as $50 upgrade from Charlotte to Dayton, I'd do it again but you're pretty much getting an economy plus product. Uh, for any normal flight, and um, really, I've really been kind of disappointed with the AA's uh, first class offerings lately. I flew on an MP80 earlier in the year, and their service they didn't offer breakfast or any type of service, and that, and that flight was about two hours long. So they're kind of slipping a little bit on their first class service uh, overall, I think, in America compared to Delta and other airlines. Um, I would do it again, even on the upgrade, knowing what I know, and um, overall for the trip, even with the weather delays, um, it went pretty smoothly. 
um, I made it to my destination in time for the uh, four-day holiday here on the 4th of July. Um, I hope you enjoyed this trip report, and I've got uh, many more coming. So keep watching this channel, and uh, I hope you enjoy all your flights that are coming.